Mm -hmm. Question four says, I caught my spouse red-handed mm -hmm. in his office toilet mm -hmm. masturbating. Yeah. What do I do first? Yeah. Pray. Uh, <laughs> I'm hearing I'm hearing Prince Manuel's song in my head right now. <laughs> <laughs> and the blasty tongues. Shut that bar <laughs> hey, hey, hey. God. My God. For, because uh, yeah. what you just witnessed is a traumatic event. Yeah. You understand? Because this is not just an average person you, you, you found doing this thing. Mm -hmm. This is someone you are married to. Mm -hmm. This is an action that um you know, that is I feel like one of the places where people actually um breach the trust of intimacy. Right. You know, so the fact that you caught him doing that, there is something that will happen to your mind. Mm. So you need to pray for the spirit of God to actually help you. Mm. You know, because of when if that happens to you, I'm sure the first response that if you are not mature or being able to calm your emotions or you know, be in the right place mentally, the next couple of steps you will take will probably start to cause a rift between the both of you. Mm. Now, um, like I said, after you pray you know what you need to do is to speak to your spouse there is no other way around it okay. you know some people will say oh maybe he's not getting enough um time with me maybe that oftentimes th <laughs> i don't know so from conversation you might actually get to know why but also be prepared that he might lie right yes because some people used to pre and the conversations that they will I'll have if place. their spouse ever catches them. Right. Yeah. So I think there was a, I, I heard of a case like that where the man had, you know, programmed what he was going to say when she catches him doing it. You know, so I'm saying that um, make sure you have a conversation, you know, and it doesn't have, don't take, don't have the conversation there and then mm. Let, so that you are calm. I'm sure he already knows you caught him mm. and he might just try to you know just i don't know what his reaction was if this was one on one counseling i would have known but i don't know what his reaction was how he what he said what he did you know but just be calm and then come to him with you know to have a conversation and not from the place of how can you be doing such a thing mm. or ah uh -uh, i know the child of god mm. you know but just ask okay so this is what i saw i want us to talk about it is there an issue do you have a problem with your sexuality? Mm. Is this something you have been doing, you know, before we got married? Or is this something you picked up on just now? Mm. You know, how long has it been going on for? Do you want help? Because it is an issue. Ah, so you need help. Yes. Mm. No, because truth be told, he can tell you he's fine. Mm. And it was a one-off mm. or a two-off or a ten-off. You don't know. <laughs> you know, but do you want help? Mm. And be, I'm here for you, and I can help you through this process. Because truth be told, you cannot offer help and make someone take help if the person is not willing. You know, but find out if the person wants help, you know, and be there. Don't attack the person, but be there for the person. Say, okay, I know you know that this is wrong, because that's why, I believe that's why you're doing it in hiding. Okay, so how can we come out of this? Because we are a unit at this point. You know, how can we come out of this? How can I help you through? You know, you cannot be an accountability system for him in that regard. Now, if he is willing and he, he goes along with what you are, pro, uh, you are proposing, then you guys are well on your way. Mm -hmm. Now, what, but based on everything that I have read and research has shown that people don't just, hardly do people just cut off the addiction of masturbation, mm -hmm. just cold turkey like that, except by one divine intervention and by consistent you know um, accountability to whoever they are accountable to mm -hmm. and accountable to god you know it's a long process yeah. but try and see if the person is willing to go through the process if he is not then you can bring in a, a, a third party and when i say third party it can be his pastor mm -hmm. his mentor mm -hmm. but you know anyone that can speak to the both of you right. speak to him too mm -hmm. you know because you can't just keep it under the rug mm -hmm. let him not also guilt trip you into saying don't speak to anybody about it especially when it looks like he doesn't want help mm -hmm. because this is not this is something that can 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 actually ruin your marriage mm -hmm. because whether you like it or not if it continues you start to feel like you are not enough yeah. and a lot will happen so if he doesn't want to you know if he doesn't want to go through the process of recovery because yeah. now he's probably an addict you might you will need to 
bring in someone and then from there you start the process of trying to restore him yeah. you know back to normalcy but first of all you have to make sure your mind is okay and this is you know you, that you are actually fine and you are okay you know so yeah, yeah. all right um amazing 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 uh, counsel right there it's um it's it's very important that we also lay the foundation listen to me i want to say it right here and i want you to take this people have asked the question is masturbation a sin let me put it to you masturbation is a sin is a sin against your body is a sin because you are taking the natural use of your body out of order god never created you to have any kind of uh, uh, intimate relationship with yourself is expected that whatever kind of relationship you're going to have you should have it with the opposite uh, sex so it's important that you know the bible speaking in second uh first corinthians chapter 6 verse 18 mm -hmm. you want to write that scripture first corinthians chapter 6 verse 18 the bible says every sin whatever a person commits is outside the body but the sexual immoral person sins against his own body and the bible makes us understand that we are the temple of the lord all right so you need to know is a sin uh, um the reason why we're having these conversations because the person says she caught the person so that means we all know that it's a sin but i just need to establish it the world needs to know let's not normalize it that's right because you see everywhere on TikTok, you see people using them you, you see vaseline you see what are all those other things you see someone even even if it's normal for you to go online you see someone doing something under the blanket and watching the movie it took me a long time for me to understand why is why why are they showing this then they say ah the person is actually they're actually showing that the person is masturbating i'm like they are even putting it out there there's no longer fear for the lord there's no longer you know um that that, that sanctity that comes with, with 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 doing things publicly so it's very important that you know and then please if you're online and maybe you are having to struggle with it because let me tell you 90 percent of the young people they are struggling with their sexuality and if you're out there and you're struggling with one and please it's not only for male because anytime they say masturbation people think it's only a male problem it's a female problem it's a mm. female problem i mean we we, mm. we 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 it's a female problem too we also got to know that uh, someone you know who came to share with us one time uh or, or, or came to share one of our pastors one time i was talking about how it's something that you could get to do it over six, seven times in a day. We don't want to mention that. But if you're a female or a male and you're having to struggle with this, I want you to speak with somebody, all right? For those of you who are online and you, you, are, you have access to us, please don't shy away. We can talk you through it. We can help you through it. We can pray you out of it. But one of the things you want to understand is a marriage is not an escape route for any person who is engaged in masturbation as a single i think for those of you who have followed us you know long enough for us to know do not think that if you are in if you're engaged in that when you get married it's going to go away no marriage is not a cure for masturbation it actually no. does not no. I, 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 because i have heard a lot of people who have been involved in it there's a there's a way that their mind then begins to um adjust to that kind of pleasure that the natural one that god created yeah. does not hit the same for them yeah. so even when they are married and they are still having marital relations they still have to go back yeah. and do that because it's a because the truth of the matter is whatever it is that the devil is selling oftentimes looks more appealing you know so once you get into it, it's very difficult and marriage is not the cure neither is it the easy way out you know because they are clearly you can see this is a married man this is not a single guy that you say he doesn't have any other option if you yeah. understand this is a married man and some people mistake it and say at least i'm not doing it with another person i'm not cheating i'm not uh, this but it is another form of it you understand so um and it is a clear sin the same way there's no lesser or greater sin sin is sin right. the same way god frowns at adultery or fornication it's the same way he frowns at you a beautiful some of the penalties for this are even greater mm. because you are sinning against your own body mm. god never created your body to be pleasured by you right okay so you have to know that it is a sin and just because the world says it's okay doesn't mean it is you know it is okay and marriage is not going to cure you so if you are single and you are in it 
this is the right time to get help. This is the right time to free yourself from yeah. this issue. So that when you get into marriage, you're not carrying in, yeah. you know, unnecessary bondage and all. All right. So just to be yeah. clear that you got that, the first thing you do is to take a step back, pray, get yourself. And, and if you're going through trauma, you need to talk to somebody. So pray about it, talk about it, seek counsel. Pray about it. That is pray, first of all, for you. The person that you found person number two, talk to your spouse about it. Then seek help and seek counsel. And then under seeking counsel, one way to make sure that you don't go back to it is to now establish again an accountability system. Hear this, sin has power in secrecy. There's no accountability system, that person will surely go back to it. Very important.